Welcome back to Wigscape with Amy Gibson and my special guest, alteration expert and men wigs designer, Romero Escobar, who's done us a great favor of coming in and actually showing how to alter our wigs. So we've already shown in the previous segments how to take it in horizontally and how to take it in vertically, but a big problem is when you get a wig and the ears are too long, then what do you do? So it's a really easy tip. Now the one thing you want to be careful of, there's always either a hook or elastic thread in the back. You don't want to mess with this, but what you do want to do is you're going to be sewing the actual base right there. So what this rests on top, you're not touching. This is the part he's going to be sewing, okay? And basically what this is going to do is lift this ear up so it's not hanging, but maybe a little bit. So would you say you get a quarter of an inch up? How much say, can you get up? I will say about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, quarter, so not more than that. Not more than that. All right, so it. like a little bit if you need a little bit of nip and tuck. Okay, let's sew. Now you're going to sew from here. That's right. It's okay. going to be the under. And where are you going to take it? Where are you taking this it? This one's going to go up. It's going to go up. It's going to go up. And what are you going to hook it onto? The, into the weft things. Ah, yeah. so he's actually putting it into the first weft. Very cool. So we're going to sew that onto this. My concern is then, what about all this overlap material? Are you cutting that? Yeah, that's right. It has to be cut out. So that okay. Be so let's do that and start by doing this that. This is very cool. Me, you know. and this Hold on. Me. So wait a minute. So you're doing this. If this is the bottom, where's the weft you're taking from where? The second or third it's, up? It's going to be from the second one up. Okay. So yeah. doing one, two, three, four wefts? About or five, five, five. Five wefts. Five wefts. So we're yeah. just going to cut horizontally five wefts where my hands are and leaving this intact. These are called the support lines of a wig. Keep those intact, okay? Cut it from the middle. You're gonna cut it in the middle of the weft. That's interesting. I would have thought you would have cut it far on the inside so there's not extra material. No, that way we can cut it up after on to okay. the other side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go. Here. So now, what are you pinning? It's gonna, it's gonna be pinned right here, just to hold it together. Okay, let's show them what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so he puts a pin to show you where it's gonna be taken in, right? Yeah. Why do you do that? Um, just to hold it together in the meantime, and then I have to take it off to be able to cut it off the other side. Okay. So it will keep lifting up. Okay. So let's start it. So again, he's taking right from the little bit of the base underneath the elastic, or you may have just a hook a hook and eye there, but you still have two pieces of material. This one and the main base, and that's what he's taking. So now you're going to remove the pin. Let's see, let's see what we're doing so we can show yeah, some that way. Yeah. Okay guys, so I hope you can see this. You can see it's already looking like that way, like that. Yeah, it's, it's picking up a little yeah. bit. So basically going from behind the ear, just to almost, just to the tip in front of the ear. That's so when you pick that up, that's where it gets so easy. A lot of times we have glasses, like I do, and you want to create a little bit of room sometimes for those glasses. This is a great tip to do that with. Again, you want to use the same color thread as the base of your wig. Or if you're using like a brown wig and it has a brown base and it's brown hair, definitely use your brown thread. Okay, we're doing white just so it shows up a lot on camera, but don't use white unless you you have very platinum white hair. Okay. Now for this, because we've taken it in, you want to make this a teeny bit tighter, so now it's nice and flat. Okay. So that's all you had to do to pick up the ears, and you do that on both sides. Super simple. Now, also the other thing is, sometimes I don't like this thing hanging down, and if you really have a good fit and you don't want this extra stuff, I will first base this, like just put a little one thread in here. Yep. Do we have one little thing? Yep. Yeah. Just give me just a little nip and tuck right there. You're just going to close that, because you may not want to lose the elastic in case you want to take it in later. So we're just going to knot it. And just sew that down. And then knot it, just so it stays put. Now, I know a lot of you, it may not bother you, but to me, I don't, I get crazy with too much stuff. 
hitting me in the back of my neck. So for those of you that have that same issue, this is kind of a cool tip. And let's double knot it. We don't need to do much more. Okay, now we're gonna cut. Okay, let me have the scissor. Now that it's secure, now you can get rid of that. And you can get rid of that. Okay, you see? And now you don't have that extra bulk. So that's always a possibility. This was good. Yes. This was a good little tip. Yep. <laughs> if there's anything you want to know for myself or Romero, feel free to write us at hello at wigscape.com and we'll do our best to address it immediately and get back to you. Okay.